hey, cutie. We meet again. Oh, really? I used to live in Sumeru City. And now that I'm back, I can't help but want to visit these small, remote shops. It's a pity that my old favorite clothing shop has already been closed for some time. I wanted to buy some accessories and clothes to give to the other ladies in the Knights of Favonius. Hmm, <sighs> what a pity. I was wondering when you would notice. Well, what do you think? It's always nice to hear compliments from other people, especially you. Thank you, cutie. I managed to find the owner of that old clothing shop and had it custom tailored. Wearing it reminds me of my days at the Academia. Oh, what a busy time that was for me. However, my researchers were never lazy. Unlike the people who borrow books and don't return them, now that I think of it, punishing them with a zap of Electro may have still been too lenient. It's you, cutie. I knew we'd cross paths again. Oh, just these painted utensils in this shop. Aren't they exquisite? I'm thinking about buying some to take back for decoration. And those plates. If we serve tea on them, Jean wouldn't be able to resist, even in the middle of work. Oh, not for sale. Honestly, why put it in the shop if you don't intend to sell it? How disappointing. Oh, they're so beautiful, too. Hey, cutie. Are you here at the Grand Bazaar to catch some performances? Yes, they are quite amusing. I even wonder if I should start taking notes on the formats of some of the programs. Who knows? Perhaps it'll come in handy for the next Ludi Harpastum. Kaya could take charge of the jokes, but dancing might prove to be a little tricky. Yes, there was a lovely girl with red hair dancing yesterday. I had a front row seat. It was really something. I can't help but wonder how great it would be to see similar performances in Mondstadt. Actually, I think the biggest challenge would be to get Eula, captain of the Reconnaissance Company, to show some interest in dancing, as well as to find a beautiful outfit she would agree to wear. Eula is surprisingly gullible when it comes to certain things. Rather than inviting the performers to Mondstadt, it would be easier to trick, I mean, ask her to dance. Hi, what are you doing around the Academia? Actually, I was just leaving. I had a reunion with Professor Cyrus and some fellow apprentices, as well as other researchers that I worked with in the past. How time flies. I could tell just from their appearances that they've been really busy. I, on the other hand, have had it pretty easy. <laughs> they must be so jealous. That being said, since I've already indulged so much, I should probably eat less cake next month. Its name is Sog? Oh, what a nice puppy. Of course, I love obedient puppies, especially the ones that let you rub their belly and look at you with their little sparkling eyes. Actually, I've always wanted to get a dog. Not only could it help keep me in a good mood, but it could also intimidate others when need be. Huh. But if I got a dog, it'd be too much hassle to groom it and clean up after it all the time. That's the trouble with pets. I suppose I'm not really suited to have one.
Elsa. I'm fine now. It's the Traveler. What you doing here? Do you come to visit Kale often, cutie? He's amazing. All of us in Gundarverville already have a lot to thank him for. Well then, it seems my little Kale has been making some new friends in Sumeru. And I've been doing my best to learn how to read. Now I can even read some simple sentences. Master and everyone in Sumeru has taken good care of me. But I've never forgotten my friends in Mondstadt. I've actually been thinking about taking some time to go back for a visit. Miss Lisa, how's everyone doing? Well, I hope. What about Amber? And Kaya? Oh, and Jean. <laughs> Slow down, Kale. I'll tell you all about them. Sorry, darling. Seems I'll need some time here. I want to tell Kale about what's happening in Mondstadt. about Amber. Uh, what should I do? It's amazing how much the Traveler has grown. I wonder what the future holds in store. <laughs> 